Hi boys and girls. Let's have some fun and draw together today. Maybe your parents would even like to join in. Anyone in your household is really welcome. Today's project is recommended for fourth graders. Today we will be talking about Andy Warhol, a pop artist, and you will be creating your own pop art today. So let's talk about Andy Warhol and pop art. Pop art started in the late 1950s. It's different from the uh, fine art that we were all used to. Artists decided it was time to take things that were in their common everyday usage. Um, soup cans, toothbrushes, anything like that. And they started to paint them, turn them into sculptures, and also print them. Uh, the printing techniques that they used was called silk screening and serigraphing. Uh, if your parents will let you later to look that up on the internet, you can find more information of how that actually worked. But it's a form of printing. In the 1950s, we got very popular in commercial and advertising, so I think this also helped spur this on a whole lot. Um, today, as I said, you will be creating your own pop art, so you'll take a moment and look around your house and decide what you'd like to draw. You can use um, a soup can, as Andy Warhol did. Around the house, I have pinto beans, so I might draw that today. Also, what's around my house, certainly is around the house a lot right now, is toothpaste, dental floss, maybe a toothbrush, or even mouthwash. So take a moment, think about what you would like to draw. Turn off or pause the video so you can find something that you would like to draw. Um, if you don't have anything and you just want to follow along with me, that's also fine. So I'll give you a few minutes to do that. Once you've done that, boys and girls, today all we're really going to need is a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser. If you want to color it in later or, or um, go over it with a Sharpie or marker, of course that's fine. Whatever you have available in the house today is fine. So again, I'd like to show you a couple of pictures first. Um, this is one of Andy Warhol's silk screens, and you can see he, um, like I said, Campbell Soups was one of his very famous ones. This is a Campbell Soup. It's beef noodle, and he says, I like boring things. I like things to be the same over and over. So for him, this was very interesting, and he liked it, and he, he made a name for himself and became very famous. We've talked about that before, boys and girls. If you want to make a name for yourself in art, you have to come up with something that's unique to yourself. Um, and certainly he did. Many other pop artists also were successful in this. Um, so, with starting, as I said, we're just going to use a piece of paper, but let's fold it so we can get some nice equal spaces so that we can make something repetitious like this. Oh, I wanted to show you this also. Somebody did um, McDonald's french fries. Here's some portraits. So whatever you want to do, but you're going to do many of them. All right, so let's talk about folding our piece of paper. You want your paper in front of you flat. I'm going to have it up here so that you can see it. I'm going to take corner to corner. I'm going to match that corner up and this corner up to the best ability that I can. All right. Then you're going to put it flat down on your table. I'm going to leave it here so that you can actually see. See how it's left a bubble. All I have to do is push down. And now I've made my first crease, which looks like a book. But if we continue to do that, bring from the bottom up to the top, go to my corners, straighten it out a little, put it down. Go to the bubble and press. I now have how many equal parts? Four. I'd like some more. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Kind of get a little bend right there. Go to my corners. Hold it up there. Come on down. All right. So. I have eight sections that are perfectly the same size. 
So I'm going to go ahead and draw in all of these one at a time. Now, if I'm going to do a soup can, I think that I'm going to turn my paper horizontally so that my squares are more um, vertical for me. But if I was drawing something like maybe a um, toothbrush and things like that, maybe I do want my the squares horizontally. So it depends which way you want your squares on how you're going to have your paper. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put my paper there. All right, boys and girls, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and just do a soup can for you today. But you can draw anything you want that you have found around your house that your parents are allowing you to uh, borrow for a few minutes and draw. All right. So first thing, let's remember, we're going to start our shapes before we even get going. Let's start with our shapes. I'm going to use a marker so you can see better. Remember to hold on to your paper with one hand, draw with the other hand. The first shape is a circle. Anywhere on your paper, you can use a scrap piece of paper also. Next shape is a dot. It's a circle, but we color it all the way in, so we call it a dot. The next, do you remember the name of this line? Very good, boys and girls. Horizontal. Can we all say that together? Horizontal line. Next line, you remember that one? Vertical. Very good. Vertical line. Very good. We have one more line. Remember the name of that one? Diagonal. Very good, boys and girls. Let's say it together. Diagonal line. Okay. Then we have our half circles. A U. An upside down U. Looks like a rainbow. A C and a backward C. All of these are half circles. So if we put them together, it would make a full circle. Then we have our angled lines, which are our V's. A regular V, an upside down V, which looks like an A without the crossbar, a sideways V, and another sideways V. Very good. Then we have a slightly curved line. Remember, it is not as, as curved as our upside down U or rainbow. It's not as straight as our straight line, that's why we call it a slightly curved line. Then we have our lazy S. Our lazy S laying down, or horizontally, we call a hill and a valley. And then we've been doing spirals lately, which is just fun. So remember, you start in the middle. It looks like you're going to do a circle, but you go past that point and just keep going around. And remember, they make wonderful snails. That's why. All right, so those are our shapes. Remember, we're going to do them before every project because it just makes it easier for us to draw. Okay, boys and girls, since we're done with our shapes, let's go ahead and put our paper back. Like I said, I'm going to draw mine horizontally so my actual squares are vertically because I'm doing a tall can. Now let's observe our can of soup. It's round, so therefore my lines down here and up here are going to be slightly curved to give it that effect that it is a round can. So I'm going to do two straight lines, two vertical lines for the sides of my can. You decide how big it's going to be. I mean, it's fitting in here, but you still decide if it's going to be taller. I'm going to close it in with a slightly curved line. Close this in with another slightly curved line. And then if I'm observing, it depends if I see the top or not, but I do. So I'm going to go ahead and see the top. And my top even has a, uh, nowadays now they have these, uh, you don't need a can opener, right? So I could even draw that in there if I wanted to. So let's go back to observing our can. I have pretty much in the middle, I'd say, there's a circle. So I'll start with that. Then there's a slightly curved line going away from that. Again, we kind of want to make it look like it's round. I don't know if you can see my can was a, as I'm drawing, but here it is. Open it on top of there. There you go. Um, it says Campbell's. I'm going to try the best I can to duplicate because it's kind of cursive.
Okay, and there's my Campbell's. Underneath it, it says, mine says condensed. That's printed. Okay, and mine is tomato soup. Okay, now I can get a little bit more decorative, maybe um, if I want to color it in, that would be fun. Like I said, if I want the top, a little. On the top to take it off. So I've created one, and I'm going to go ahead and keep going, right? Maybe you'd like to make all the cans first and then come back and decorate them. However you'd like to complete this, boys and girls, is up to you. But remember, so remember, boys and girls, we're going to fill this all up, all the way across, with our soup cans or whatever you've chosen to draw. Once I'm done sketching them, I will go back and put all the detail in, and then I think I'll even color it in. Maybe I'll show you my finished picture next week as you show me yours online. It's been a pleasure drawing with you again. I hope you learned a little something about pop art. As I said, if your parents will allow you to go on your internet and uh, look that up a little bit more, understand what pop art is, uh, what serigraphing is, silk screening is. All right, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed drawing with me today. I can't wait to see your finished projects, and I hope you draw with me again next week. Have a great week. Stay safe. See you soon.